Uh, this is Oksana Severin. Uh, she's from Mjedinac, Kupcin, uh, Republic of Moldova. Thank you for being with me today. Hello. Um, we have uh, a big number of students here on the Outer Banks. Um, what made you decide to come to the Outer Banks? Well, when first time I decided to come to the United States in 2008, I went through an agency in my country and it was a huge list of different states and different job offers. And for all the states I looked up and places you can, you can get a job, I really like Kerala because it wasn't on the beach. And my first uh, thinking was, well, you know, to stay for four months at the beach, plus you can walk and enjoy. You know the time there and be just being on the beach. So I decided to come to, uh, to Kerala. Did you know anybody here? No, I did not know anybody, and I only had a friend who told me that Harris Theater, which was my first job, a nice place to work for. So that's why I decided to come. Yeah. Um, what are your impressions of the other banks? Well, I think it's a very amazing place to be and um, I love Kerala, especially from all other banks, which I think they all impress with their beauty. But um, there is something special about Kerala, it's quiet there, nice beaches, wild horses, nature. Uh, how are you well, how well are you received by the local population? I think Americans are very welcoming people and I, Americans taught me how to drive and I got my license here and um, even help with school a lot also. What are your favorite um, local activities here? Uh, because Outer Banks is a, beach, is a beach area, there is opportunity for running, uh, bicycle, going to the pool, in summer you can swim in the ocean, uh, volunteering, I'm a volunteer at a welfare club in Kerala and fire department, so um, that's the most important thing activities. Have you discovered anything new, all those the activities you discovered here or did you do them back home as well? I know I discovered a lot of new activities here, a lot of new sport activities uh, like longboarding, skydiving, I would say running also. I never run so much as I run here back in my country. Going to the pool in winter time, that's one of I think amazing thing when you really back in our country it's very expensive and you barely can afford to go to a swimming pool, and here it's, you can afford it. What are your impressions of the U.S. economy and the political system? Well, I'm not so much into politics, and it's hard to talk about them, but I think um, nowadays the politics and all the economy is really tough, and people, a lot of people unemployment, people losing their jobs, and I think should be done some big changes in this country. Well, would you like to stay in the U.S. after your, you complete your graduation, return to your country and contribute your skills there? Yes, I would love to stay in the United States and after I graduate COA, I would love to attend uh, Western Carolina University and get a nursing degree. And I think that's what I would love to do for living. And uh, I would love to stay in the place now, Since you want to stay, do you find the immigration laws difficult to remain here? I do think the immigration and government probably makes it harder for foreign students to stay. For example, if you take an OPT, which I have right now, it's a work permit. And if you take it during the school year, years, after you're done with your school, you have to leave the country. So I think if you do everything legally, as 
attend school, pay taxes. You should, you know, a government should allow students to stay here, probably provide them with green cards or make this process be easier. Do you think they should allow more students to remain here if they have a certain special skills that they achieved during the school? I think if people get education here, student, foreign students get education here, why not to allow them to stay? If you're an educate, educated person, intelligent, maybe have some good ideas to improve you know, the country, the economy, any field, why not? Well, thank you so much.